Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Coming at you with Deuteronomy chapter 28 tonight, and I feel like I don't have a clear message. This is probably not something that I should do for a YouTube video when I want to submit something that's, you know, encouraging and edifying and boosts you up and makes you feel better and, you know, encourages you to follow the Lord. But in the chapter I was reading today, Deuteronomy chapter 28, I just have this conflicted feeling and I felt ultimately that, well, one, I didn't really get kind of like a clear signal, so to speak. I didn't feel like there was anything in particular I wanted to share. All I have are my thoughts on this chapter, so I'm going to share them with you. Essentially, chapter 28 is huge. You have a total of 68 verses. That's a big chapter. And out of the, this is the whole blessing, like if, you're, if you are following the Lord and obeying Him, this will be blessed, this will be blessed, this will be blessed. And that follows up to verse 14. But then verses 15 through 68 is all about, but if you don't obey, if you don't follow the Lord's commandments, and by all means, you know, check the chapter out for yourself, see if what I'm saying is correct or not. It's just like, you know, if you don't obey, if you fail to follow the Lord, this will be cursed, this will be cursed, this will be cursed. And there seem to be a lot more curses than blessings. It's kind of like... Uh, God, it is kind of like that old saying, you know, God's waiting to just bash you over the head with the hammer. He's just waiting to, to club you when you do something wrong and when you mess up. And there's so much more curses than blessings. Now, I know this is supposed to be encouraging and edifying. And I don't have a ton of encouragement and edification from these particular passages. There are so many more curses than there are blessings. I know the Lord's heart motivation is good. I know He wants to bless us. I also know the way to be blessed is simple. If you follow Him and you obey Him, in other words, if you love Him, to really boil it down, there are several verses where it's in the Old and New Testaments where if you love Him, you will obey His commandments. So blessing is so simple. You love Him, you follow Him. Whereas we can sin in any number of different ways. Even the law itself tells you how all the different ways you can mess up things you should do and you shouldn't do. And if you do all these things and don't do these things, you're on the good list. I uh, maybe there's maybe there's such a lopsided difference between the blessing is there's one way to get the blessing, the cursing. There are many ways we can disobey and not follow him. Maybe that's what it is. I'm not personally sure. So I guess this instead of outright edifying and building you up, I guess this is one of those times where I don't have an exact answer, I don't have a clear answer, and that's okay. Throughout the rest of my life and throughout the rest of your lives, there are going to be things that we do not have the complete picture on. Even when we combine our collective juices and brain power together, we're still not going to get it all. And that at some whether whether you're even Christian or not, and I hope some of these videos will encourage you in that direction that God is a good God, and that Christians can um, they can indeed be the loving, caring people that the Bible calls us to be. Hopefully, I live that out. Um, I also have no problem showing y'all that I don't know all the answers. I don't get it. I hoped to give a video on something I did have an answer on and encourage you in a specific direction. I guess with this particular chapter I read, I just don't have that. I only read half the chapter today. I'm going to read the next half tomorrow just because the chapter is so long. And for all of you who are like, you should read a whole chapter a day, I'm sorry. That was a long chapter, and I've had a lot of stuff to do today. So I know the Lord has mercy on me. Hopefully you will too. That wasn't an indirect rebuke at all. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hopefully it made your, your brain wrinkle a little bit and think about some stuff. I love you, and God bless.